most of us have come across the situation where we click a single button multiple times and that will result in the sticky key pop-up coming up. For example, if I do this, it will give me the sticky key pop-up that is part of the Microsoft accessibility features. While this can be very useful for some people, it also can hinder our ability to do certain tasks and can be a little bit annoying. So you can actually stop this sticky key pop-up from popping up on your Windows 11. To do that, what you need to do is to go to Start menu, go to Settings. Under Settings, on the left-hand side, click Accessibility. Under Accessibility, find Keyboard right here, the Keyboard. At the very top, you will see the option called Sticky Keys. It may have been turned off right now, but even with that, there are there is a feature that is causing this pop-up to pop up like that. To prevent that, we need to go into that uh, sticky keys options. And in here, we need to turn off the keyboard shortcut for sticky keys. So this option, keyboard shortcut for sticky keys and turn that feature off. Now, if I press the button a couple of times, the sticky keys pop-up will not appear. So to turn off the same sticky key pop-up option in the Microsoft Windows 10, what you need to do is to go to the Start menu. And this time we're gonna go to Settings and then find Ease of Access, that's this option. And on the left-hand pane, go to Keyboard and then you need to turn off the sticky keys and you need to turn off the allow shortcut key to start sh uh, sticky key. And you need to make sure this is turned off and you need to make sure this is turned, uh, this is uh, not checked off. And by doing that, now you don't have that sticky key pop-up coming up in Windows 10. So that's how you turn off in Windows 10. So it's under ease of access in Windows 10, under settings, ease of access, keyboard, and under keyboard, use sticky keys, you need to turn this thing off and you need to make sure this thing is not checked off. Allow shortcut key to start sticky keys. And that's how you turn off the same feature on Windows 10.